since I'm not as patterned as I would like to be. So to for me to for me to get a horse to turn with its nose, sometimes I'll leave them a little further outside of the cow so that they have to look look for it which in order to look for it is to bend their neck and that's how I get a lot of bend is this ear this the inside ear the ear closest to the cow is always going to work or not most of the time but but when that other ear starts working and looking in while being comfortable and patient outside of a cow I think you get a lot of bend and a lot of natural bend through the turn for them to use their outside eye or outside ear to hunt it then then I feel very confident that that horse is hooked to the cow because they I think I think the only way to win is to understand failure and to adjust after a failure and to not let it get you down every time you fail you're just a step closer to a victory or or uh, it, it, one thing about failing is that you can do that what my dad's working on is get to the end and draw back um, which is another thing that we didn't touch on is is uh, drawing instead of stopping one all the time is important because it teaches the horse to go into the ground with a more of a bent hawk or, or a softer hawk instead of going in kind of welded to the ground and scared a little bit just rigid into the ground so not only is it creates health problems but it also when it's time to turn the hawks are already kind of stiff and it's hard to get the hydraulics or to get them to absorb the ground or impact so let the horse go by and draw him back to his spot and that way you always keep something we were talking about a minute ago between horses that I was talking about is why trotting is so important on a cow not letting your horse get into a lope is because 